Well, it was a tragic ending in the search for a submersible that was carrying five people touring the wreckage of the Titanic. Investigators believe a catastrophic implosion happened on Sunday, and that's when the vessel lost contact with its mothership on its journey to the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. ABC's Rena Roy has the latest. Days after this Titanic-bound submersible named Titan went missing deep in the Atlantic Ocean, we're learning more about what went wrong when the five people on board were killed likely instantaneously. The debris is consistent with the catastrophic loss of the pressure chamber. A remotely operated vehicle discovering a debris field on the seafloor Thursday, including the sub's nose cone and parts of the pressure hull near the Titanic, more than two miles below the surface. The sub essentially collapsing inward under extreme pressure. At 12,500 feet underwater, the pressure is about 370 times the pressure at sea level. If I had to put money down on what the finding will be, uh, the Achilles heel of the sub was the composite cylinder that was the main hull that the people were inside. Officials believe the implosion happened around the time the sub lost contact with the mothership Sunday morning. The Navy says an underwater acoustic detection system heard what was likely the implosion around that time, immediately sharing that data with the Coast Guard for analysis. Businessman Shazada Daoud and his 19-year-old son Suleiman were among the five people lost. Shazada, my brother, he... He inspired in us audacity from a very young age. He was always the kind of person who has this incredible love for, for the world. Stockton Rush, CEO of OceanGate Expeditions, which made the sub, was also on board. The company had faced scrutiny since the experimental sub was built in 2018, especially over its use of carbon fiber and titanium. Rush speaking with a Mexican actor in 2021. I'd like to be remembered as an innovator. I've broken some rules to make this. I think I've broken them with, with logic and good engineering behind me. The carbon fiber and titanium, there's a rule you don't do that. Well, I did. The Titan was the only submersible like it to never be certified. Back in 2018, a former employee had warned about issues with that carbon fiber exterior, saying that tiny cracks could become bigger and bigger the farther and more often it went into extreme pressure. The wrongful termination lawsuit settled out of court. In New York, Rena Roy for Channel 6 Action News.